Hey, welcome back to our series of devotionals here in Exodus. Let's look at chapter 1 of Exodus, verses 6 and 7. Joseph died and all his brothers and all that generation, but the sons of Israel were fruitful and increased greatly and multiplied and became exceedingly mighty so that the land was filled with them. So here's an interesting situation. Uh, back in Genesis, do you remember what it was? There was a lot of infertility stuff going on, and so you had extra extra wives added, and, and uh, we got the... These kind of messed up families uh, with all the all the different wives and handmaidens and so on. Now, what's interesting here is that in Exodus, in Exodus, this is this is all quite uh, reversed. In the book of Exodus, uh, there is plenty of fertility. In fact, so much that the Egyptians are getting nervous and kind of losing their minds, saying, "Look at how these people are thriving. Let's let's kind of bear down on them and and, and keep them from thriving so much." But of course, the more they bear down on them, uh, the more they're going to thrive. Humans are fascinating creatures. I mean, you put us under stress and we begin to thrive. And that's exactly what's happening with the Hebrews here. Give us ease and luxury, or at least give this to fallen humans, and what do you get? We become grumpy and, and weak and, and whiny. But put us under pressure and a lot of people will, will rise up and become strong. And you know, I don't think that the, the Hebrews fell into Egyptian slavery all at once. There must have been a progression to it. It must have happened in increments just in pieces, and then the ratchet comes in a little bit tighter, and then it gets tighter, and, and it just keeps ratcheting up. And I think that's what happens is happening to people around the world today. There's kind of a increasing, rapidly increasing authoritarian, you know, push down from, from the governments and the, the governmentalities, you know, the, the, the corporations and the way everything is working. It's, it's coming, it's bearing down on us more and more, and it's coming in pieces. And so we're coming into sort of a, a, another kind of bondage. And you know, it must have been that way for our Hebrew ancestors. Uh, it must have been that way for them, an incremental uh, ratcheting down, tightening down of the culture. So by oppressing the people, the Egyptians are actually strengthening them physically. And the culture is also becoming stuck with slavery. You know, slavery is becoming this forced, compelled labor is becoming a part of the Hebrew economy. And so suddenly you have all these people who you feed them a little bit and then they build all, they make all these bricks and make all this stuff for you. And you become sort of economically addicted. And this is, I believe, what's happening uh, as we look in these first couple of chapters in Exodus. The, the, the Egypt is getting into this weird spot where, you know, we, we really can't have any more of these Hebrews. We don't trust them. But uh, at the same time, we need them economically. We're kind of addicted to them. So there's this really weird relationship, and it's going to come out bad for the Egyptians. It's going to come out bad also for God's people in Egypt. So that which strengthened the Hebrews actually wound up weakening the Egyptians, which was the opposite of what they want. Somebody once asked a question, how did you go bankrupt? And then the response was, well, first gradually and then suddenly. And I want you to know that's the same way that people lose their freedoms. First, gradually, and then suddenly. And when you come finally to the book of Revelation, Revelation 13, you find that we come to a spot where, boom, nobody can buy or sell, you know, and unless you do what the, the big powers that be, the, the thumbs down on your, on your neck, what they say, that's what you'll only be allowed to do. So it's first gradually, and then it's suddenly. And I think that's the way the, the Hebrews in Egypt lost their freedoms. And that's sort of what's coming down on us too, isn't it? So intriguing point to notice how these things happen. Maybe you remember something that we all, a little phrase we all heard a few years ago, you know, hey, just two weeks to flatten the curve. Now, that sounds kind of like, you know, the gradually and then suddenly thing, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. Tomorrow morning, we'll come to the, the suddenly part. In the meantime, God bless you and watch over.